No one will dislike this moment more than this man himself, <laughs> that he has to come out. But may I introduce the gentleman we've been honoring here today, the great, greatest film directors of all time, ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Mr. William Wyler. <laughs> smiled and ruined everything we've said about you. <laughs> well, uh, if I may say so, I think it's been a little overdone. Do you <laughs> think so? <laughs> you, don't ever, you don't recognize that you were ever tough? Uh, yes, uh, I suppose I'm tough. I gotta believe what everybody's saying here. Uh, but look how they but, delivered. But mm. since, uh, since I haven't uh, made any pictures recently, uh, don't contemplate any. I think a lot of actors and actresses will be uh, spared going through my torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> why haven't you made any, and why don't you contemplate making any? Well, frankly, I got, I've got i made pictures for over 40 years. But I know and, a lot of scripts are being submitted to you, uh, Mr. And, Do you yes, ever read them? Yes, they keep sending me scripts, I'm glad to say, and uh, it's very nice to be able to say thank you very much, but... Uh, I'm tired. I, I'm going on a trip. I do a lot of traveling. I sleep late. I play cards. I, I enjoy life. I enjoy freedom. But if another one of these great films that we've talked about here today, if that script suddenly came along, would that stop your trip? Uh, well, I like to think that it might be fun to make another picture someday. But uh, it would have to be something very exciting. Uh, nothing like that's come along. Recently. What's missing? Uh, writers? No, no. I think perhaps, uh, perhaps I'm being too choosy. I... <laughs> Maybe the time we're living in now. No, I think that's. Uh, I think it's because I really enjoy doing a lot of things that I've never done before. Caught up on a lot of reading. I do now amateur photography. I go on trips. I have a little eight millimeter movie camera. Ed, I make home movies. And then when you come back, do you show them to all your friends? I, no, only no. my family. <laughs> they have to sit through them. Right. right. And uh, it's a case of professional turned amateur. Is there one favorite William Wyler film? Of all you directed, is there well, uh, a great hunk of you in one of them? There are several favorites. <laughs> Which? Uh, I'm not talking about the actors or the actresses or their performances, that one subject matter that might be dear to you or film? Well, there was, uh, there was one that was particularly uh, close to me because it had to do, it was done right after the war. And uh, I mean, most of, the, most of the films are fictional, you know, are fictional stories and didn't really involve me but since I was in the service during the war, right after the war, I made a film called Best Years of Our Lives, which... Uh, which everyone saw twice. <laughs> I'm surprised these young people remember it because it's been uh, about 20, 25 years ago. But anyway, the, uh, that film uh, gave me a great deal of satisfaction because it contributed something to the uh, social life of the time. It made people understand veterans better. And uh, that was a source of great satisfaction. Do you like actors and actresses? Yes, indeed. I would, I would be in this business if I didn't like them. But uh, uh, some you like more, some you like less. Uh, the ones I like most are the ones that are the best actors and actresses. They, uh, they give you, uh, they really give you something 
to take home at night when you go home and you know you've got a good scene in, in that camera, well, uh, then you could sleep. And if you have one that you know is good, you spend a sleepless night. I can't thank you enough for this show and the opportunity to talk publicly about you uh, as a person. We all know your work. We all admire you. And we, I think I speak for everybody in the audience. Thank you for hours and hours of enjoyment you've given us in the motion pictures and now uh, on television. And this excellent biography by Axel Madsen called William Wyler. A great deal of it is in here, and it's a great reading. Yes, of course, it's not an autobiography. No, I didn't biography, write it. Right. He wrote it. I just spent some time with him, telling him the things that he wanted to know. And uh, I think he's done a very good job. I wish we could have uh, forced you out here three hours ago. But I understand your wishes were the last uh, five or six minutes. Well, I feel uh, my place is really behind that camera, not in front. <laughs> and I'm more comfortable there. <laughs> we thank you and your actors and your actors. William Wilder will be back after this message.